Over the years, I have come to realize that one of the more misunderstood issues of our faith is about judging others. And this is an important issue because Christians are often accused of being judgmental. And the reality is that sometimes we are. And that is not a good thing. We need to stop that. But there are other times when we are accused of being judgmental when that's not actually what we're doing. For example, have you ever had this experience? You're trying to point out to someone that what they did was wrong. And maybe they know that you're a person of faith and they respond to you and they say, stop judging me. You're a Christian. You're not supposed to judge people. And you're taken aback by that because you're not really sure how to respond. And you're thinking to yourself, well, is that was I, what I was doing? Was I judging them? I don't, I don't think so. I'm not sure. And it's because there's a confusion around judging others. So we know that in the scripture, it tells us not to judge. In Matthew 7, 1, Jesus says, do not judge or you will be judged. But we have to ask ourselves, what exactly does Jesus mean by that? Does that mean that we are never to make any evaluations of anyone's actions and to have no opinions about them? Well, that can't be right because the scripture also calls us to correct and rebuke one another, um, particularly uh, from the standards of the scripture. Now, and on top of that, in John chapter 7, there's this moment where the Pharisees are angry at Jesus for healing a man on the Sabbath. And he responds to them and he says, stop judging by mere appearances, but instead judge correctly. So are we to judge? There's another place in Luke chapter 12, where Jesus is again kind of arguing with the Pharisees and he's calling them to interpret the signs of the times. And he says, why don't you judge for yourself what is right? So are we to judge or are we not to judge? Which is it? Well, the answer really lies in this. There is a real difference between judging a person and making a judgment about something or a judgment about what a person has done. What we are not supposed to do is judge people. We're not to judge someone's salvation, whether they're saved or not, and we're not supposed to judge the value of a person. That's something that only God is qualified to do. Only God knows a person's heart. We are not qualified to judge. That's God's job alone. But what we are called to do is to make judgments about what is right and wrong in this world and what actions and behaviors are right and wrong. Now, we of course need to do that with love and with tact and and uh, sometimes we're not so good at that, but it is something we still need to do. Um, and we need to realize that saying that what someone did is wrong is not judging them. It is making a judgment about their behavior. But there is a real trap that we uh, can fall into and I think uh, often do fall into. And the trap is this of, of saying, you have done wrong things, so you're not saved. There's no room for you in heaven. You have done wrong things, so you're a bad person. And when we've done that, we've crossed over the line. We've crossed over the line from making a judgment about what someone has done, and we started to judge them. And that is wrong and terrible and something that we should never do. So let us just be clear that there's a difference between judging others and making judgments.